انظر ابن سماعی ماں ناو یو آر سینگ آل دیز ایٹریبیوٹس آف اللہ سبحانہ و تعالیٰ اس کریٹیو ایکٹیویٹی ہاؤ ہی از رننگ دس یونیورس آل دیز سائنس یو نو آلا اللہ دے ہیو بین ڈسکسڈ ہیئر انظر ابن سماعی ماں فسالت اودیتن بقدرہا ہی سینٹ ڈاؤن واٹر فرام دی ہیون اینڈ ناؤ دی وادیز فلو وادیز اینڈ ویلیز یو نو ان دیز ماؤنٹینس ریجنس Because, you know, there's a mountain of this side, mountain of this side. Now there's going to be rain. Now all rain going to the down, to the valleys. Now these valleys become rivers. They are not rivers permanently. But when there is rain, all these wadis, all these valleys become rivers. Fasalat adiyatun biqadareha. Every wadi, every valley has a catchment area. So the greater the catchment area, the torrent is more strong, more deep. If the catchment area is small, every has its own, you know, size. فَحْتَمَلَ سَيْلُ زَبَدَ الرَّابِيَا And the torrent carries over it a swelling scum. There is a scum, you know, over, over the water. وَمِمَّا يُوْقِدُونَ عَلَيْهِ فِي النَّارِ بْتِغَاءَ حِلِيَةٍ أَوْ مَتَاعٍ زَبَدٌ مِسْلُهُ And from that over which they kindle a fire seeking to make ornaments or wear rises scum. When you know the goldsmith, he is, you know, kindles fire over gold and to, to purify it. Then you find, you know, that over that gold there is a scum also. But now what happens to this scum? This has been interpreted in two ways. In this way, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala strikes the similitude of the truth and the falsehood. The scum over the surface of the water is nothing. It's just visible, but it has no value. Really, water is underneath this scum. In the same way, the scum which has risen when you are cleaning the, the silver or the gold, it is nothing. Actually, the, the silver or the gold is lying below. This is the example. Although you know this batil, this falsehood appears, and it appears very awful. It has no reality. The reality is something which is hiding behind it or beneath it. But the other, you know, the inter interpretation is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he strikes this batil with with haq and we have you know another example of this phenomenon in suratul anbiya ayah number 18 bal naqzifu bil haq ala al batil fa yadmaghuhu fa iza huwa zahir we strike the falsehood with reality there is a striking bal naqzifu bil haq ala al batil fa yadmaghuhu and you know this haq the truth, it breaks the bones of head bones, skull of, of batil. So this, there has been going on a struggle between haq and batil. Many a times, you know, haq came, jal haq, wazaq al batil. Muhammad came, sallallahu alayhi wasallam, and you know, this, the, the, the haq, you know, it was struck against batil, and the batil, you know, it went off. But naqzifu bil haq al batil, fayad maghuhu, fayzahu wa zahir. It goes. Again, Batil appears, gathers his strength and comes. Then you know you need that people who uphold truth and reality, they should come up and they should strike again against this Batil. So this goes on. And now let me tell you that this ayah, that there is come over the torrent, there is come over the, you know, ways of the, of the goldsmith and so on. But this come goes. It dries away. It has nothing to do. All this come goes away. It doesn't exist. It dries up. And as for that thing which is beneficial to the mankind, that remains in the, in the earth. Water was beneficial. The scum was not beneficial. Scum goes off. Water was beneficial. It is absorbed in the land and then it gives, you know, vegetation. In this way Allah strikes the similitudes. Now in this ayah we find, you know, a slight reflection of the dialectical process. Just as we have been finding in this, this, this part of the dialectical materialism, the philosophy of Marx is correct. These philosophies, you know, they are not totally false. There is element of truth in them. Now we see that there is some thesis. 
it creates an antithesis from its very womb and its bosom. Then there is a striking between the two. And then the result is a synthesis. So whatever is beneficial humanity, it remains. Whatever is not beneficial, it goes off. But again, because it is actually the creation of human mind, it's not complete. There remains something, you know, some flaw remains over there. And this gives birth to another antithesis. Now the synthesis becomes thesis and it gives birth to another antithesis. Then there is again a striking between the two, a collision between the two, and then again a synthesis comes up. So actually, the material world is definitely progressing in this fashion, in this, in this fashion. So no doubt about it. We can see there was monarchy, kingship, aristocracy, feudalism. From its womb or from its bosom, democracy was born. Now there was a struggle between the two. And that was manifested by the French Revolution. But what happened? This democracy was also, it had flaws in it. Because it gave birth to capitalism. Now humanity was saved from the tyranny of the kings, emperors and feudals. But now the capitalists, you know, that became powerful and the rest of the people, they were, remo they were reduced to the position of laborers. Now this again is strife. Now it becomes a thesis uh, and then it gave birth to antithesis of communism. There was a struggle and strife between the two. And out of this strife came out socialism. And this socialism of Scandinavian type, you know, in which there is democracy also. And there is, you know, the, 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 the rights of the laborers are also secure. So this process is going on. And why it is going on? Because matter is incomplete. If you look to materialism only, if you take to materialism, this process will go on. It will not take you to perfection. It is only the divine light and the divine guidance that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given through his revelations. That, that can give you a, a totally perfect system, balanced system, politically, economically, socially. It can be a just social order from every respect. Those who respond to their Lord, for them is the fairest reward. Al-Husna. And those who don't respond to him, if they had possessed all the wealth of this world and another, you know, twofold of all the wealth of the uh, world they, they had possessed, they would be ready to give it to ransom themselves. For them, there will be the evil reckoning. And their abode is going to be the hell. And it is a very bad resting place. 